Hey, yo, this is your humble host, Marcus Harper. And if you're not stewing, what the hell are you doing, Shawty? <laughs> That's right. Make sure you check out my show, The Marcus Harper Show, live every Saturday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the all-new Two Live Stews Radio.com. Make sure you lock that in. Two Live Stews Radio.com. Lock in the Doug Stewart Show.com. Every Saturday, the Marcus Harper Show, 9 a.m. Authentic, organic sports talk, soul beats, and life. <laughs> yes, hop aboard this train of thought every Saturday. Health is wealth, life is good. Mm-hmm. Did I have a ride? I ain't got a fancy car. Got an old look alive. Why you showing in them ties? That's why you're walking around me and you, Miss Dirty Brown. It had to be destiny that got you out here with me. Your puff on these palmetto trees. My game's strong like Hercules. Her ass cheeks was hurting me. Poking out them black capris while we strolling down the street. By the store that used to be. Snatch it, go. We called a taxi. Headed down to 52. What's your choice for the room? When the cab stop, I said, ain't got no money. Then she paid the dues. She caught the room. I told her I left my wallet home in the debit too. Hit her with the winky loose. She said, it was worth it, boo. Plus, my dick's incredible. This is what a nigga doing. Ain't got no money. What? Club, seen this girl, thick as fuck with a cup. She put it down, I picked it up. Yup, I drunk a looker up. Looked across the bar, and I seen what I was looking for. What took a bra so fine, I probably even lick it up. Listen, my, this your boy, Lazy Eye for Carolina. What am I spending time putting something in your mind? Or maybe I could take that time to take that crook up out your spine. She asked me for a glass of wine. Hit her with my favorite line. Ain't got no money. She said, what? I don't speak, we rhyme, but you so fine. I'ma say this one more time. Ain't got no money. And guess what else? Ain't Got no fancy car. She said, that's all right. She puts the jag and tipsy off the drink she had. And she really need my help to make it back to the pad. We had the light off in her jag. She put her head up in my lap. Make your boy feel relaxed. This is how a nigga act when. Ain't got no money. What? Cosho seen this model taking pictures on the Volvo, sipping hip no rock the bottom of my games in his foot. All right, welcome back to the show. So we have confirmed. That in hour number two, coming up in about 45 minutes, we are going to talk to the great Thorny Switch. She is, uh, she's going to grace us with her presence. All right, so that's in about 45 minutes. Uh, stay tuned to the Doug Stewart Show, 404-822-5467. You can also email me at Doug at the DougStewartShow.com. Once again, I put a survey slash poll up, I guess you would. You know, I, guess, I think the right term is survey. I put a survey up in uh, the Two Live Shoes Facebook chat group as well as the Doug Stewart Show Facebook chat group trying to gauge interest in hosting your own podcast. So if you ever thought about it, you thought you uh, you think you could be a – a good radio host, man. Got something for you, possibly. Uh, so fill out the survey, man, to help us in our research. And uh, I'll, I'll tell you more about that down the road. All right. 404-822-5467. If you didn't know, the New York Giants are 1-6 right now. and One of the more shittier teams in the NFL. <laughs> and 
And, uh, man, GM Jerry Reese says that it's all his fault. He's placing or says to place all the blame on him um, and not to any particular section of the team. The Giants had their or head into their bye week with the NFL's third worst record only behind Cleveland and San Francisco. Uh, only the winless Cleveland Browns and the San Francisco 49ers are worse. Here's a quote from Jerry Reese, their GM. This is the roster that I put together. I'm the reason we're 1-6, Reese said at his annual bye week news conference. We do have to play better as a team, so we lose together, we win together. I believe everyone is accountable here for what goes on. We're 1-6 together, but you can put it all on me. And I guess that's just a noble thing to do to follow on the sword. Um, but it's not all his fault. The players on that team are pretty bad. And I hope the number one chief, Rocket Vern from Jersey, is listening right now. Not only is the front office bad and the head coach shitty and all of the players garbage and Eli Manning is super overrated, um, they, they're they just horrible altogether. So that's commendable by Jerry Reese taking a lot of the blame for what's going on in New York, man. But it's not all his fault, man. There's a lot to blame, a lot of blame to spread around in that horrible, horrible, stinky-ass organization. Also, Reggie Bush says that if he doesn't get signed by a team this year, this is his last year in the National Football League, or last year would have been his last year in the National Football League. He spent 11 seasons on NFL rosters, uh, being the number two overall pick in 2006 by the New Orleans Saints. He says, quote, I still want to play, but if it doesn't happen this year, then I'm going to retire. Uh, He told the media on yesterday, I'm not going to miss a whole year and then try to come back for another season at 33 years of age. It doesn't make sense at all. Uh, Bush has played in 134 career games and gained 9,088 yards from scrimmage during his career. He has 1,286 carries for 5,490 yards and 477 receptions for 3,598 yards in his time playing for the New Orleans Saints, the Dolphins, the Lions, the 49ers, and the Buffalo Bills. Uh, So Reggie Bush has had a pretty decent career, but... I, I, whenever I think about Reggie Bush, let me try to pull up this guy's stats right now. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Whenever I talk about Reggie Bush, and the same way I've talked about this Christian McCaffrey kid, is when he came out of college, a lot of y'all listened to the Stews back in the day. This is this is just me uh, echoing some shit that I've already said a million times. Never thought Reggie Bush, even the dynamic career that he had in college at USC, you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Bottom line, Christian McCaffrey had another lackluster performance uh, in the game against the Chicago Bears. Uh, Bears won the game 17-3. to Christian McCaffrey rushing for the Carolina Panthers this weekend. He had seven rushes for 14 yards. <laughs> what? He had seven carries of the football for 14 yards. No, no, strike that. He had seven carries for 10 yards, okay? And he had a four-yard long run. That's his longest run of the day. And then he's obviously big in the passing game. They tried to get the ball to him a lot. He was targeted nine times by Cam Newton. He caught seven passes for 36 yards. And I know, I mean, a lot of people, man, I can't tell you how much flack I got when I talked about Christian McCaffrey. How dare you talk about Christian McCaffrey? Don't you know he's a white running back? (laughs) I guess prove that it was a good pick early on uh, when they drafted him in the first round as high as they did. He's going to have to do a lot more than what he's done these first couple of games. Now, back to Reggie Bush, man. Um, Solid career. He was a weapon. He was a guy that could return punts, return kicks. I don't remember if he returned kicks, but he returned punts early in his career for the the New Orleans Saints. Solid player, man, can make a play, you know. But, you know, I don't think he should have been (laughs) drafted. I mean, where does he get this shit from? But Grego says Panthers just don't know how to use the new complete running back. Should have let him go to the New England Patriots. 
Uh, whatever, man. The Burkhead kid, speaking of white running backs, third down backs, the Burkhead kid for uh, New England got a lot of snaps the other night. He had been injured. Remember, they picked him up in the offseason uh, from Cincinnati. I think he was a free agent. I don't think he was traded. And so, yeah, Danny Woodhead. <laughs> yeah, uh, Burkhead. Bill Belichick seems to like those type of players. I hear you, Grego. From Big L X Squad, Clay, Sheba Baby is my Jerome from Martin Voice. Um, from Rail Scott, I was so happy that Reggie Bush left the NFC South. I was running back. They just don't have that type of skill. Like, and it's not because of their size either. I mean, Barry Sanders wasn't that big of a running back. He was in the same kind of like uh, body frame as these other guys that I'm talking about, Bush and McCaffrey. But, man, Barry Sanders would love going through the tackles between the tackles. Me, myself, back in the day, I love running between the tackles. I did. Shut up. I did love running between the tackles. The name of my uh, my fantasy team is the 42 Isles. My favorite running play back in the day in high school and in college. Like all of the great ones, they make their money between the tackles. Emmett Smith, Walter Payton, Barry Sand. Oh, God damn it, this you know, shut up, shut up. So that's what it is, man. Reggie Bush had a good career, though, made a lot of money, stuck around a long time. When you run four threes, you're going to last in the NFL, period. The great Jimmy Johnson said it. You can't teach speed. Hey, back in three minutes, the Doug Stewart Show.